Hey y'all, it's Sherry and this is Country Couponing Chicks and I wanted to go ahead and show you some of the pieces that I have already picked up at garage sales and at thrift stores. But now that I got a few new things this week, I'm kind of thinking of different ways of doing it. That's the trouble with thrifting. You're always finding something new and having to change around a lot. But I love the pieces, so I may just try to change them up on the shelves. But I found the books, of course. I found the books at um, either Habitat or at a garage sale this year already. And I just love old vintage books. I love the way they look. The older, the tattered. I don't want them falling apart or anything, but I love the older look. And then the uh, vase, I also found that at a garage sale this year. I'm sure that is not old, but it looks beautiful. It looks old. And then the greenery or the long white dangling flowers, I actually found those at the Dollar Tree. And then the purple sort of baby's breath looking thing, I'm actually drying those out. They were in a vase of real flowers. They are real, and I just put them right up in there, and they will dry out naturally and pretty much stay looking just like they do now. And then I found this um, adorable um, bird cage at a garage sale years ago, a few years ago. And um, I have used it for different things. I've used it for different decorations. And this year I just wrapped a little bit of the greenery around it, popped on a flower. And I got these two beautiful bunnies. It's so hard to see this far away. And they're white and everything up there is white. So it's hard to see them. But I got those for 40% um, off at Hobby Lobby this year and put another one of the flowers in on the sort of the greenery down underneath them. I do plan on hitting up um, Hobby Lobby after Easter though. When it goes down to 90%, I'm going to go see what else they got. And then this little blessed egg, I also got that at Hobby Lobby. I thought that would be cute for Easter also. And then a few of these things. I'm, I'm trying to find all new picture frames for our family pictures. They're just older, cheap picture frames, and I do try to buy picture frames at yard sales. And so I will be looking for some new picture frames for these. This I got at a garage sale so many years ago, and also the greenery. I did take the plant uh, container. It was sort of just a gun metal, and I painted it gold. May even be painting it white. I don't know. I change up instead of buying new things. A lot of times I'll just change, change the paint job. And then I found this cute little fella here. He just reminded me of a little um, French country, the little blue and white, just to give it a little pop of color. Not totally excited about this shelf. This is one that I am definitely working on. Whether I want to replace the greenery in the back, or I definitely want new picture frames, and we'll, we'll see on that one. Now, this shelf, I actually like. Okay, I picked up, well, this even came from, this came from an estate sale. These are old. These are, these are beautiful. I assume you put little flowers in them, held your jewelry. I don't know exactly what they did with those back in the day, but they are gorgeous, and I got it in an estate sale. This was a beautiful white vase, and I made a huge mistake, which it looks fine, but I painted the bottom. I just taped it off, and I painted the bottom gold, and a few quite a while back and I wish I hadn't and I could probably go back with some enamel spray paint and paint the whole thing white again I've been toying with that I'm not for sure on that and then this burlap I did buy this somewhere uh, probably Hobby Lobby just because I was in a burlap phase <laughs> and I do like the greenery and then I pick up the sterling silver which probably isn't real but I pick up those pieces at um Goodwill, and then this I got at a garage sale last year, which I absolutely love, and it is beautiful, and I try to keep it on North America so the kids can see where we are right there. Once again, it's very dark. Trying to it's it's wood and metal, very nice, heavy piece. Once again, trying to decide if I want to leave, leave it black, paint it white. I don't know. I'm really in this white phase, but then you can't see it all when it's everything is white, so I don't know. But, um... I like this shelf. I like this shelf a lot. I picked up some Reader's Digest books at a garage sale. Just realized this one is in upside down. Hmm, hadn't caught that before. And uh, just like to have them decorating. And then started on this quite a few. Once again, another white piece. No, this was this was not. This was a stone piece. I probably should not have painted because it, it, it may have actually been a really nice piece of stoneware. But you live and learn, okay? I've just started with the collecting stuff and with the... um with thrifting and trying to learn pieces and what's good and what's not. These pieces are really old. This is just an old oil can like they would use to put in your old oil lamps. And this was just like for a little hold salve of some sort. 
And this is a, a sterling silver goblet. And back there is a piece of Courier Knives plate. I like to have that out. Once again, the pop of blue and uh, white. This is just a shelf, actually, that hangs on the wall. But at the time when I was putting on this on here, I didn't have time to put it anywhere. So I stuck it in there, used it as a bookend. And then more old books that I found at garage sales and estate sales. I've even got an original Ben-Hur, which is gorgeous. It is really in bad shape, but it's like in the early, early, early 1900s, before 1910. Another bowl. I think this may be ironstone. I found that. And then look at this cute little egg. It is heavy. Okay, it is like a marble. I don't know, but it's actually, which confused me, it's actually made in Italy. So, Easter time, I'm going to keep that out. It was the only one that I found, but I think it's adorable, and I have it in there. But now I'm thinking I want to incorporate, and I'm going to show you because I'm cleaning out my drawers. I've got stuff laying all over the floor. I've got so much junk that is not... It's not organized. It's like I've got candles in with batteries and batteries in with weights for working out and nothing is organized. So I, that was my one of my things this year was to get organized and I've really fallen short. So I'm trying to get back on that. I really like this picture down here, sort of a Victorian picture. And I'm kind of thinking to, I want to move some of these around and change it up a little bit. We will see. We will see. But I just wanted to show you the before. I, as you can see, I am definitely not a minimalist at all. If there's an empty spot, I want it filled. <laughs> I don't know why. I just love the hominess of it. And each little shelf, I want to make its own separate little room, which I think is adorable. So now I'm trying to decide what to do about like this picture because it will fit in one of the two top, probably that middle, as just a backdrop. Put it in there and then, you know, put the stuff on top of it. Anyway. This is what I wanted to show you how it was looking now, and then I will come back later after it's finished and show you what I decided to do. If anything, if not, then you will not see another video because it will stay the same. But that's the way it is, and I'm going to get back to work, and I'll see you soon. Bye, y'all.